Hey guys, it's Kevin again. This is going to be my final trailer reaction for the night at least because I said I had one more to do and this one, not my final trailer reaction ever. And oh my god, it's his final trailer reaction ever. No, it's not my final trailer reaction ever. It's my final trailer reaction out of the four I've been doing. Now this trailer I've been wanting to see for a very long time. Ever since I found out the plot of this trailer, I have been so interested in this movie. I didn't realize what it was till after the trailer came out. I was planning on doing this lot yesterday and I just didn't get a chance to... But let me explain you the plot of this movie and why this movie just sounds so awesome to me. Because the plot of this movie is pretty awesome. I mean, a KGB agent and a CIA agent have to work together to, I think, stop a common enemy. You guys know how much I love the Americans. This literally sounds like the final season to the Americans. And it has two actors who have been in movies and have had shown potential in those movies. They just have not been in very good movies. So we'll see how this is overall. But let's watch the trailer for the man from that movie is the man from uncle and let's watch the trailer to it because i don't know how this is going to be hopefully it's really good because the, the plot's awesome so hopefully the trailer's as good as the plot sounds but here we go let's watch it when it loads that is <laughs> taking a little while for it to load um i don't know why it's taking so long to load guys but it is Okay, here we go. Trailer for a man from Uncle. I don't want full screen. I don't understand why he keeps doing this. Uh. I don't want full screen. Here we go. Man from Uncle. Are they still following us? Yes. Is there one of them? This looks like the Americans. It's awesome. Does he have just one hand on the steering wheel? Mm -hmm. When you hear something that sounds like a gunshot, drive. Okay, this is awesome. Nicely done. Okay. <laughs> of an international criminal organization with ties to former Nazis. Rumor has it that feels an atom bomb. We have no choice but to work together to infiltrate this organization. We'll leave you to the get acquainted. That's awesome. Yes, they're fighting. The CIA's most effective agent. Oh, obviously. <laughs> I work better alone. I work better alone too. Okay. I'll let you tag along. I like their more unique approach at this. How did you get the invitation to my party? I stole it. I know that actress is, but she looks really good. I'll say that. Just never when I'm stealing things. <laughs> Not very good at this whole subtlety thing, are you? It'll be like this for 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, uh, and it's an IMAX, of course. Now let me say a few things about the trailer. A lot of things I wasn't expecting about this trailer. One of the things I definitely was not expecting is, apparently this is actually based on a 1960s television series, which was uh, hugely popular, actually, which I did not know about. I didn't know this was based on a TV series, and it looks like they're taking a more comedic approach at it, which I kind of like, actually. I think it's it's cool they're taking a more comedic approach at it. I like they're doing that, and I, I think it's just really cool they're doing that, definitely. I think that's very well done, and... Uh, I will say this, everyone in the cast looks perfect. Henry Cavill and Army Hammer look great together. They look like they know what they're doing, and especially Army Hammer. He is completely transformed into this character. You really feel he's a KGB agent in this trail. I could definitely feel like he's going to really get into his character. 
And the other thing that this movie deals very well with is sort of making fun of the fact that these two have to work together. It shows how complicated things would get for them, because honestly, think about what if the KGB and the CIA had to work together? It really is a what-if movie. It is one of those kind of movies where it kind of experiments with ideas of what would happen if, you know, that really was true. What really would have happened there. So... This movie kind of experiments with that, and I think that's actually really cool that they do that, because it's it's a very interesting, you know, question. What would happen if those two worked together? The action sequences in this thing look absolutely breathtaking. Cinematography looks awesome. There's so many times this looked like I was watching an episode of The Americans, and that's what I want to feel when I'm watching this movie. I want to feel as if I was watching an episode of The Americans, and... That's, this honestly looks just awesome. I love everything about it. Um, I think that my only downside with this trailer, my only thing that I'm worried about is that I'm worried that the movie is going to get too wacky. I really am. I don't want this thing to be a straightforward comedy. I want this to be a comedy, to be a a thriller, a like a, a, dra a, a drama with comedic elements. I really hope it is that. The trailer trying to present this as a fun movie, which... They want to do a fun movie, fine, I'm fine with that. As long as they take themselves at least a little bit seriously, I'm fine with that. Really, I am. Um, I will say, out of the four trailers, this one definitely looks the most promising. I think that everything about this looks really cool and a lot of fun. I don't really know if I want this movie to be exactly fun, but it definitely looks like it's going to be a very good movie, and I am looking forward to it overall. And that's basically all I really have to say about this trailer. So overall, guys, let me know what you guys seen this trailer overall. But that's it for my reaction slash review to the Man From U.N.C.L.E. trailer. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be my review for tonight's episode of The Vampire Diary. So I'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye.